And we can make our way down here. I don't think there's anything in here. Um, let me see. Take a look around. Um, can't really get a good angle here. There we go. Get the... Got this weird picture here. It looks like a Triforce. Random maps or something, and uh, a picture of someone there. Oh, hey, that's the picture from uh, the introduction. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't know why that's there. Why would such a picture be there? That's like a isn't that just like a legend type thing? Oh, it's you again. Yeah, just thank Nintendo Logic for that one. Uh, sure. I'm not revealing my true intentions, but uh, sure, I'll go along with that. Yeah, this one isn't that fun to do. <clears throat> and if they're all moving, of course, that that's what makes it a little bit tougher. Alright, at least you tell me what I'm gonna get here. Now, I don't know if there are any shortcuts to doing this. Uh, I can take a look yep. first. Yeah, I don't know if there are any shortcuts here. Well, well, maybe I can get up on this, okay. So I would save a one swing right there, I guess. I'm just trying to see how this one's... How does this one work here? Oh, look at that one, there's nothing on that side. Oh, you know I'm gonna fail this one badly. So... Can you even jump to this? I don't even know if you can get to that. Oh no, I can't, okay. So, and then I guess you're supposed to swing to that one on the other side, but let me... Try some weird stunts here before. Let me, can I just swing? Uh, let me see what kind of weird tricks I can do here. What if I can swing over to this side? I know, I know, I haven't pressed the switch yet, but I'm really just playing around with this because I kind of need to know what I'm yeah. aiming at first. Okay, so I can do it that way. Okay. Um. So I got lanterns here. I wonder if I can. Can I jump to this one? Yeah, I can, okay. And then the last couple you gotta have to do on your own, so it kind of sucks, but... I'm trying to look for any shortcuts here that might... at least take some of the pain out here. Okay, so at least I have a... some approach I can use here. I don't know how good it'll be, but we'll try it out. Since you can climb up on top of these, I... I give myself some... Measure of head start here. So let's try to. When I. Hopefully will. Work out fairly well for me. Oh, I'm not. I'm not aligned correctly. Yeah, you gotta get the. Angle right on this. Otherwise, you'll miss. So, what makes this one a little bit annoying? Yep. There's the other lantern here. Not hard to see where it is. Yeah, 
This is kind of hard. They're kind of picky with the timing here. I don't know how much time I've got. Yep. All right, first try. I'm learning well here. I actually didn't fail. I thought I was gonna fail like three or four times before I get this one right. Well, I mean, you put those crates there, I kind of use a little shortcut. I can be so busted. Alright, I'll spare you the getting into trouble here. I just want the goods in here. Get our own bombs here. Uh, so you start with 30 and then you can upgrade your capacity. Yeah, you can use this to fight off enemies in the water, but I don't recommend it. How'd you even know Link was in here? Dude, there's gotta be like a camera in that thing or something. Well, you shot Link in there. I was like, not his fault. Oh, he's busted now. Ah, oh, she's good. Can't even hide anything from her. Look at all the red words right there. You just want to read all that. Oh, don't worry about time. Remember, time never advances here. It's always nighttime. So, you have as much time as you want to uh, get this. Ram into the stairs there. That kind of hurt. So, yeah, there are no time limits here. So, you can take as much time as you want to do this. So. All right, now we just need to get off the ship here as we robbed whatever treasure we needed to rob here. <laughs> Tetra doesn't even seem to mind that we get there before her. Uh, okay, interesting. I mean, you could delay, but I'm not going to because um, I, I kind of want to get this part out of the way so that I can explore more freely. Okay, so yeah, look how far it is. That's kind of crap. This is why you hope for faster sailing down there. I might actually... I'm really tempted to just start cutting out stuff, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to hold on for a little while here. Yeah, see, so it never... It'll never be daytime here. You know, it's always gonna be nighttime, so that's why you're not timed or anything, unless you, you know, you'd otherwise see a timer in the corner, which would be kind of brutal. But there's no timer here, so you can take as much time as you want. 
But I'd probably get the again, I'd get this out of the way because you can't see anything right now. It's all dark around here. my boomerang was. It takes like five seconds for that thing to come back or something. <laughs> it's like all the way on the other edge or something. This thing has really good range. Yeah, see, bombs would not be accurate against those types of enemies. They move too much. It was a boomerang track zone, so... I wish you could hold more than three items, I mean... The boomerang almost automatically has to take one slot. And then it switches anything from Wind Waker, Sail, Bombs, Grappling Hook... Um, generally the items you'll pop out, out here. Actually, Grappling Hook's only when you're searching for goods. So it's probably gonna be most of the time these three items. I'm not even close. Oh, that's just painful. That's so painful. Really should have given this boat like a motor or something. Some sort of upgrade that you can go faster. Like, seriously, this is as fast as you can go. Well, I guess, like, um, Phantom Hourglass isn't that much better, but it's a smaller map, so you just draw your course. And yet you get there pretty quickly. But this one is just a big map, you just gotta go down. It's like, you know, you're walking through Hyrule Field. No green of time. I mean, that's pretty annoying, but you know, at least you can get a Pona that makes things a lot faster. Here, you don't have that luxury. It's just uh, walking down or something. Well, I guess I might as well talk about what I'm going to do next. So, um, obviously, we're going to do the obvious thing first, but there's also something you can do else you can get there, that's actually very handy. I have to hope I have enough magic to do that. But it's very handy to do it now. And then I'm gonna start actually, you know, exploring all the sea charts, so that is going to be done, um... I'm gonna probably have to do a lot of editing, and there's gonna be no commentary in that. That's just literally me exploring different areas. I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, I'm not going to go into any island or anything, so I'm just going to explore all the islands just to you know, get everything out of the way there. And then, you know, afterwards, then we can go start doing some stuff. Because there's actually a lot of stuff we can do before we actually proceed on in the game. Actually, once you get past that point, it kind of gets linear again, so you kind of want to do a lot of stuff now when you still have time. Gosh, am I almost there? Okay, I'm almost there. It's that island right up ahead of us. Yeah, you only have a finite number of bombs here. Found a Mario you have infinite bombs, so you just keep 
shooting stuff out, because that's the only weapon you've got to defend yourself with outside. Here, your boomerang does most of the work. Now, you have to get around to the back of the island here. At least there's so much I can remember. Yeah, that's what I mentioned before. Alright, well, I guess we can take a quick look. Um, 